All right, so today, guys, we're going to install the new Valenium. Is it Valenium? No, it's Valenium. Valenium. <laughs> Say that for the camera, please. So, what is Valenium. it? Valenium. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna put this on the E Revo Mini E Revo. Merv. My little Merv 116 scale, and we're gonna see how this uh, peps it up a little bit. So let's get to it. <laughs> First things first, we gotta Do that up close to the go ahead and check the camera and make sure we can see what we're doing here. You can just carry it, right? Let's do an unboxing here, right? What do we got in the box? Oh. Got the motor. Nice. Looks new smaller. New screws. Yeah, it is a little smaller. Huh? And we got the instruction manuals. You see some new stickers, so I can say it's a Valenian. You didn't even go in front of the camera. Huh? There, Valenian. Yeah. So, guys, this is gonna be a quick install, Brilliant. and then we are going to get it out and see how much it improves. And see if we can do a backflip. <laughs> All right. So, pause while I read the instructions, because I'm not gonna take time. Well, first things first, obviously, we got to get the old motor out. The old motor out is pretty simple. The installation seems pretty simple. Right, so now we gotta get these. Now let's look well, at the new though. How do you like it? It has been a fun, fun piece. Yeah, it's totally something that I enjoy. Would you recommend investing it? It's a good little car. Depends on how you like it. It's a pain to work on because your size, so it's not as easy to work on as. No, you have to move a lot of parts. Whereas your bigger one tenth scale, um, your one tenth scale RC cars are bigger, so the parts are all easy to access, and so it makes it a lot easier to work on. That's kind of a bummer. All right, well, to be continued. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to do a little digging. All right, so one thing you'll notice here, if you have a brushed motor in your current E-Revo, Mini Revo, uh, you're gonna have to change out a couple of parts, mainly the uh, mount that the motor goes to, since it's a smaller can. You're gonna have to replace the uh, that plate and then also get a new cover, and this is what I had to go find. Um, my local hobby shop didn't have that. I had actually ordered that online, uh, but I got the other stuff there. And these are the numbers 7077R, which is your kit for the cover, and it comes with a screw and a pin. Uh, the 7090 is your uh, new plate, and then of course this one here is the, and I thought it was, I can't remember what the number was. Anyways, Traxxas has a number. Actually, it's right here. It's a 7060. That's the number. So he also, in this little thing, it shows you the, the uh, different numbers that you'll need and all the pieces you'll got to get. So. so we're gonna get that on and we're gonna then try this out again. <laughs> All right, 
right, so we got it on, and I just wanted to go over a couple little things. Uh, getting the slipper clutch off and getting all that plate removed, I had to uh, flip it over, and I had to remove um, these let's see, these four screws that will hold the actual um, transmission, and you can kind of pull it up and get access to it. Now what I first did is I actually took that whole piece off, and remove this as well and I didn't have to do that so just for you guys don't do it it's not needed just these four screws and then this can be uh, easily lifted up and then you just kind of maneuver now you could take it all the way out pulling your your center drive shafts out uh, but uh, I didn't do that and then I put a heat sink on there and one thing I did notice too when I the, the instructions say to push it all the way up but it uh, was kind of getting in the way of that uh, nut there and I don't like that so we uh, moved it back just a little bit so about center to the motor kind of looks good set it up I uh, had to turn the ESC hold it down for 10 seconds to get it into lipo mode see how it rolls in the snow let's see how this brush looks we'll take it out on it I'm gonna stand on the sidewalk oh, right outside <laughs> Oh, icy today. Ice. I'll take five feet of snow over ice. I'd like that. As fast as we go with brushless, baby. Woohoo! <gasps> Holy crap. <laughs> Just don't hit the drains. <laughs> um, no, auto correct it. You have more power. Here, I'll show you how you auto-correct. <laughs> Hold this. Not working. Uh, I don't have... Whoa. All right, go get it. Don't fall down the ice. Is it faster, you think? What? Is it faster? Definitely. You think so? Alright, so guys, tune into our next video. We're going to show the 2S and 3S. You want to stay tuned to that. See you guys later. Oh! Just hunt the wheels. It's like one of those uh, little firecrackers. Ice, 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 baby. Ha, 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 ha.